No, nope, he's oh not. My oh my god. god. I'm gonna what take you on a hot vacation fuck? to Texas. Hey, what's going on everyone? If you're new to the channel, welcome, and if you've been around before, welcome back. My name is Dave, and today I'll be going over what is, in my opinion, one of the best possible ways to catch your 725 if you're the rusher on your team. This build sacrifices range for mobility, but when you're in the pocket, you'll be taking out your targets insanely fast. Here's the final build in all of its glory. Alright, let's dive in. Starting with our barrel, we'll be going with the sawed off barrel to pack the biggest punch up close. Next, we'll be using the 5mm watt laser to really bump up our hip fire accuracy, but most importantly our sprint to fire speed. For our third attachment, we'll be using the sawed off stock to buff our mobility, and so we can run around like an absolute maniac. For our perk, we're going to roll with sleight of hand, two shots goes really fast, and we need to mitigate whatever downtime possible so you can keep rushing. And lastly, I recommend using the Forge Tack Steady Grip. It looks awesome and it also increases your ADS and sprint to fire speed without hurting your movement speed. So here's our finished product. I'll leave this up on the screen for just a moment. Something I don't normally cover in these videos is perks, but I feel like to really make this weapon shine, you need the right perk combo. I typically rock this weapon in search and that's what I primarily play. So here it is, I'm running EOD because typically I hit the lanes first and end up eating a nade or an RPG when going for the rush plant, especially if it's A-bomb on Petrograd. Before I forget, use stems with this thing, especially if you're rushing in hardcore. The health regen and tactical sprint refresh is a must to get you out of the lanes and into cover. For my second perk, I run high alert on like 9 out of 10 of my classes. I literally live and die by this perk because so few people play the aggressive lanes and use cold blood, so you'll always know if you have someone at the end waiting for you. Lastly, and feel free to change this one out, but I like Battle Harden for the same reason as EOD. People tend to use stuns and flashes as feelers before they set up, and it sucks getting stunned out in the open right when you're about you know, to plant the bomb. So if you really want a more stealthy approach, you could also go with spotters so you don't hit their claymores. but I would just recommend giving Battle Harden a shot with this clap. Alright, so we've gone over the gun, we've got the perks covered here. I'm going to go ahead and throw some gameplay in here at the end for you guys to check out. If you want to stick around for a little bit and help me get that watch time up, I really appreciate it. You know, if there's a weapon you guys want to see a build for, drop a comment below. I'll be more than happy to do that. And as always, everyone, take it easy. Peace. I've been using this light machine gun trying to get fucking these kills done with it. Shut your redneck ass up. Suck a fat dick. Go back to Texas where you come from. Stupid, I'm from Cincinnati, you dumbass idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, they don't, no. One, yeah, one's outside bathroom. I don't know where the other one is. We got to do a goddamn fucking saw it off. Thirty seconds. Time's up. Move. Move. Nope. He's oh not. my oh, god. Consistent. I'm gonna what take you on a hot vacation in Texas. Shit. Oh shit. I got a EOD, oh. bitch. Oh, 
Oh, Zach coming up. One lane now behind Red Bus on their spawn side. 